Hi, this is Bev Schechtman from the Doctor Patient Forum. I'm just gonna make a really quick video here that I don't usually make these little quick videos, but um, I've been doing some research about Anonymous Sister. This is a film that is an independent film created by uh, Jamie uh, Boyle is her last name. Her mother and her sister developed an addiction from taking prescription opioids. And she has Kalodney as her consultant. He's on her website and her guru. And so we're preparing an entire uh, video podcast about that. But there's a few things that were bothering me so much today. I just wanted to jump on here and make a really quick video about it. So this is the very first clip with Jamie Boyle when she was asked questions at one of her screenings. But I will just say that one of the things we're seeing a lot of is um, kind of astroturf looking grassroots pain organizations. Um, so it seems like pain patients are speaking up and um, if, if you track back their roots and a lot of times pharma is involved at least in organizing them and and I have so much sympathy for these people. They're on opioids, they, they believe they need them to get through the day. I believe they do need them because they are now dependent on them. Um, but they're now using people who have been prescribed opioids to fight back about against any legislation to curtail it. So that's why you'll see a lot of publishing still in you know major publications about you know pain patients suffering and CDC just rolled back their guidelines. So this is very much still a huge problem and infiltrating every aspect. So this was so offensive to me on so many levels. I feel sorry for her because she actually believes what she's saying. Everything you hear her say, you can tell came right from Kalodney's mouth. Um, and she doesn't know what she's talking about. No pain patient organizations. We are not industry funded. We have not been funded by anyone, although he continues to claim it. Anytime a pain patient or a pain patient organization pushes back against their lies, they claim that we are industry funded. But that is hysterical because they have made millions upon millions upon mi millions of dollars in the opioid elimination or opioid reduction industry, which they created and they joined forces with for multi-district litigation, the law firms they brought in 60 billion to this country or pharma like Casera Pharmaceuticals or Indivier or the treatment industry or chiropractic or there's so many different industries that have joined together in, a, in an effort to make a lot of money off of opioid elimination and opioid reduction, right? There's a lot of money to be made and there's they've made a lot of money. Now, most expert witnesses in opioid litigation make between $500 and $1,000 an hour. Yep, an hour. And when they're serial expert witnesses like Kalani, they probably have made maybe 10 million. And not to mention, he's also been a consultant in Dopesick, who was a consultant in Crime of the Century. He's made a lot of money and he eats up the spotlight. Like you'll see in other clips later on that we do in another video where she tells him he's her hero and she tells him, he tells her she's he's his hero. It's also heartwarming. But I want you to listen to this clip from, this was from uh, 2016. This is a presentation that he did at the California Department of Health. And I think this is the one she was talking about when she said she first heard him speak. But I want you to hear his disclosures and I want you to pay attention to what the screen says here. I have no uh, financial relationships with any pharmaceutical company. Okay, so I want you to hear what he just said. He said, I have no rela uh, financial relationships with any pharmaceutical companies. But here he says, I have no relevant financial relationships to disclose, which is a lie because he was already being paid as an expert witness in opioid litigation. Needs to disclose. And after you hear my talk, I think you'll understand why no pharmaceutical companies would want a relationship <laughs> with, with me. Thank you. Okay, you see him eating it up, right? Look at his face, his smug face. I mean, in fact, I don't think he got enough applause, so let's give him more. But the thing is, he actually lied because he put on there that he had no financial disclosures to make, and he does though, because he's made a lot of money. Okay, so this last clip is of Andrew Kalani 
when he was um, an expert witness at Johnson and Johnson trial, I think it was in 2019. And here's the lawyer questioning him. Now they won in this trial and then it was overturned about a year later. So listen to the lawyer questioning Andrew Kolodny. So you're getting paid in this case, $725 an hour as well, right? I'm getting paid in this case, $725 an hour. Yes. Okay. For all the work that you've done, correct? That's correct. And at the time of your deposition, you were asked how much you had been paid up to that point in time. And your testimony was something between $300,000 and $500,000, correct? I uh, think that's correct. I'm not sure if I was re referring to uh, how much I had been paid to that point in time, or I think the question I've been asked about compensation was how much I expected to have been Look how confused he looks. Look at his eyes there compared to his face when they were all telling him how amazing he was because he didn't take money from pharma. Look at him. He looks terrified. Uh, to be paid by the end of the trial. I, I, I can't remember exactly um, what the question was, uh, but there was an estimate. And I believe the estimate I gave was in the range of 300000 to 500000 I think that was the estimate for... Uh, till the end of this trial. Okay. So there you have Andrew Kolodny admitting there, fumbling over his words that um, at that point he had made 300 to 500,000. I think by the end of the trial, it was closer to 750,000. And he's been an expert in many, many, many other cases. Just one of many. Most of the prop members have been, if not all. I know Dave Valentine has been. I know Anna Lemke has been. Um, Dr. Dinesh or Danish has been. Uh, I, I think all of them have been as far as I know. Thank you for letting me get that out of my system. I had to put that up there because it enrages me every time we're accused of being industry funded because we are volunteer pain patient advocates who are doing our best to try to fix something that our country has broken and these people have become gazillionaires off of it all while accusing us of being industry funded. But I also wanted you to see his face because, come on, was he not eating that up? But he lied to them. And then when the lawyer actually calls him on his BS. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I had to get it out of my system. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.